Well, good evening, campers. It's uh, 15.24. I'm uh, up at um, some other castle. Oh, it's the 20th of... Um, fucking January. God, my memory's getting terrible. If they have a look out the window, it's pissing there, rain, blowing a gale. But that across the edge of there, and down the bottom of that track over that hill, is how you get into the castle. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's definitely something castle. Um, but these puddles here, once they get down to where it looks like the end of the puddles, they start getting deep. I'm always worried about scraping the bottom of the van. Well, over that way is the 303. Up that way is the sky. And that way is the 303 as well. I'm just on the Exeter side of um, White Parish. I think it's called White Parish. So I got up here now, I've got to be gas and what have you. So when I move off in the morning, I shall shoot down in there and uh, get some more gas. I top myself up. I was going to go through there, get some gas and go and stay at Woodenge, but I thought I'll stay up here. It's nice and quiet up here. It's, um, the wind's... The wind has just sort of dropped. It's fucking blowing. But you can see it all moving about. So it's all it's all still quite blustery. If anything, I would say it was a little a little bit. Why can't you? Why have I got me? Why would take your finger? Off? I so I got socially confused then. Um, yeah, I uh, park up here. You know, by the main road, but. I mean, with this wind and that, I just put me silicone earplugs in and I don't hear a fuck all them. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can, you can't really see. If you can see the, I'll just talk to you. You can see how close I am the traffic. See him going by? There they go, there they go. Yeah, so nothing much happened today. I sort of stayed up at, um, what's it called? Up at the Moor. Went in the warmest this morning. Um, a little mooch about in Warminster. Nothing, nothing about. Nobody about. Didn't see anybody I knew. Um, I don't know what time I left there. Twelve o'clock, something like that. Yeah, something like twelve o'clock. I was going to go and have a socially distanced walk with Boxy, but I didn't really want to have a fucking walk with anybody in this fucking weather. So I didn't bother. So I've come up here, out the way. Um, it's all gone on my, my, my thing, so people got a bit of damp in that. I'll let you uh, have another look. Let me take it, it's on my fridge. So that's what we got now. 48% moisture, 21.4 degrees in here. And you can't really make that out, can you? But the dark blue and the light blue normal is um is the red and the yellow is dry the light blue and the dark blue is wet and the green and the light blue are oh, what does that say oh comfortable so there you go so green is comfortable Blue and green and blue, sort of comfortable. Well, yeah, anyway, it's just gone back to comfortable, so maybe that's got out of me hand. But it's back on the thing now. So, uh, just here looking at the different things here, all fucking, all these fucking dickheads going on about this fucking gas, carrying gas. My mate Cliff Maple from Amesbury. He's just bought, a, he's got, just fitted two 10 litre gas tanks in his camper van. And one fucking idiot on there said, why have you got two if they're refillable? Uh, well, obviously one's spare, in it? But of course I make my sarcastic self, I made a comment where he's cracking, he shouldn't have two, should he? He should have three. <laughs> God, they're pricks. And yeah, tell it's fucking, look, Cliff, Cliff probably messaged me. And said to me about people telling him how to spend his fucking money. You know, 
No, no, I said, look, this is good, you know, people tell you how to spend your money. It's like me when I, when I commented on about having um, a Truma 4 gas heater in here. When it went wrong, it, seven years it was in here and it never, never had a problem, never had a problem with it. And um, it went, I've had, well, I've had the van eight years, eight years, I think it's eight years come this June or July, can't remember, something like that. And um, after about seven years, it went on the blink. So I got Chris, a chap from Westbury Camper Vans, Caravans, whatever they call, call yourself. I bought a trading estate in Westbury. He came out and had a look at it. And he fucked about it and fucked about it. Anyway, I can't remember what little bit it was, just a little bit. And uh, he said to me that these trumers and that, they're not that reliable, apparently, if you don't use them regularly. You know, but I mean, I don't know about that. But I mean, it's £1,425 to replace mine if it goes wrong. I suppose I've been in the next couple of three years, I suppose. But he said everything on there, he said, was a little bit worn. He said, but fine. It was all sort of fine. The boiler was fine. The burners were fine. Everything was all right. No, no, no point of attack, no point of worrying. But the thing is, if I got to pay £1,450 out and just get a new tank, unbolt it, bolt the new one in, because all the pipe works, everything is there, it's, it's fucking fixed again, isn't it? You know, so, and then they go, oh, yeah, but you could get a, you could get a fucking a Chinese diesel heater for £90. I could, you know, and sitting there watching, listening to it go tick, 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 all fucking night. You know, red hot, can't control it, won't switch itself off, don't keep a constant heat, don't heat water, you know. If I want a £90 fucking heater, I'd put a £90 fucking heater in here, wouldn't I? You know, I mean, no oh, bloody Mandy and fucking Mandy. What's her name? Mandy. Oh, I can't remember what her name is. Don and Mandy. Lovely, lovely people. Lovely couple. Very, very helpful. Very knowledgeable. John's very knowledgeable about camera vans and that. And Mandy's very knowledgeable about cooking. Because I've done some of her cooking. It's very, very good. But, I mean, he's put a diesel heater in. You know, these Chinese ones. Because of the cost of the cost of gas. Well, the thing is, is a lot of people run their Chinese diesel heaters straight out of their tank. So they're running white diesel anyway. So they're paying like one thirty, whatever it is. And if you buy red diesel, it's half price. Well, gas is like half price, isn't it? So I can't really see there's a lot of difference. But then again, you know, if that's what they want. But when I fitted my Chinese diesel heater in my last van, I mean, I put one hole in the floor and let the exhaust go through the floor, and I kept the diesel tank, the air intake, and everything inside the van, so that if ever I had to repair anything or take anything apart, it was inside the van by the back door where I could get at it. I mean, a lot of people put their fucking pumps underneath and all this and that. Well, if it goes fucking wrong, and invariably it'll go wrong when it's snowing or something, you've got to get underneath and fucking fix it, haven't you? Well, you didn't want none of that. So, but my, my diesel, my, um, uh, pump, what I'd done that, I'd done that, what, um, what's it, Mel's World, what he said, he suspended his on, like, two cable ties, and I'd done that on mine, and mine was, mine was relatively quiet, but I've been only spent about eight or ten nights in there with it, so, yeah, you've probably spent that, maybe three or four nights in it with it on there, but it's all right, kept it warm, but it kept it too warm, I mean, you know, because I never had no... Uh, sunroof enough. I couldn't leave nothing open. So, you know, you have to switch it off and then you wake up, you're cold, you switch it back on again and you fucking get so hot and switch it back off again. Because they never, they never sort of shut down. They just go on like tick over. You know, which is no good. And if you run them too low, they fucking, they, they sit up in that, apparently. I mean, I never had mine long enough. But, yeah, I mean, what I, what I plan on doing with this is, um, I got two six kilo gas bottles, and I think for the size of my spare tire, my spare tire and wheel, then I'd be like, because I don't really need spare tire and wheel, do I? Because I'm in the fucking, got one of the, I'm not sure I'm in the fucking RA, I'm not sure if I'm in the RAC now or fucking green flag, but if I get a puncher, a little fucking man, I come out and fix it, will not he? So I'm gonna take the, rather than drill those in the bottom, I'm gonna take the uh, spare wheel out, I think. 
and put a 55 litre gas tank in. So when I go off on my travels, because I usually got to fill up, well, I haven't got, I, I've got to fill up once a week. I mean, I go out with a full tank or what I've used over the weekend. I fill up on a, on a Saturday. And I go out and do what i got to do. And then Wednesday or Thursday, whatever I'm up here, up this way, I'll fill up. And I just top myself back up again. But it depends on what the weather's like, what I do. Then I thought to myself that in the summer, and in the winter, I mean, I can go off and park up, but I can stay there for fucking a week or more, you know, weeks on, well, a couple of weeks on end, I would have thought, if I got a, a 55 litre gas tank. And then in the summer, I can either, if it's if I'm worried about the weight, don't fill it up, just have the tank there, or, or because it's on the brackets, just fucking drop the tank off. Anyway, that's enough of that. Fucking go on with gas and that. You know, people got these fucking vans and too tight to fucking drive it, too tight to run them. You know, you can't afford to have a fucking van, don't have one. Anyway, I'll speak to you later. Stay classy and no fighting. Bye bye. I love you all. Except you, you know who you are. Ooh.